Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansky. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we'll give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a pretty uh, interesting episode for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, as you guys know, the um, the Denver Nuggets are currently, or yesterday, they were celebrating their championship parade, which we're going to get to a little bit later today, depending on when you see these shows. But anyway... As you guys know, these guys have won uh, the championship and now they're the talk of the town. And various people are kind of talking about them, right? So recently there was a podcast. I think it was Patrick Beverly's podcast. And on Patrick Beverly's podcast, he had one of his former teammates, Carl Anthony Towns, when he used to be a Minnesota Timberwolf. So they were on there and they were talking about a bunch of things. But then a particular clip of them has been going pretty viral. Because basically in this clip, what they were saying was what they were able to do by basically coming together as a team towards the end of the season and then able to make that kind of play and push or whatever it is, that what they did was more impressive than what the uh, Denver Nuggets, who just won the actual NBA championship, uh, just did. So when these comments uh, made its way to uh, Chris Broussard and Rob Parker of the Odd Couple, <laughs> they absolutely man and i mean and i really mean it they absolutely went off on patrick beverly and carl anthony towns by basically having such a ridiculous take so what we want to do is want to play what chris broussard and rob parker had to say here about this take and then we're going to come back and react to it so take a listen to that we 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 got to go back to this pat beverly con uh podcast yes because they they let go of some whoppers in this and the one that, I mean, you think it was bad saying that Carl Anthony Towns was the best big man in the league? Way till you get a load of this. I don't care how you say it. Like, it was a reason the Denver Nuggets won a championship. I just played them in the playoffs, bro. They was, they was telling us our plays. They were like, all right, yo. They just, they weren't even talking. Right. right to an area, and the person was just randomly right there. I'm like, how is this possible? But they also what? What's one of the things that, like, you see, it was more special what we did in Minnesota because we had, we had, like, what, like a month? And then we had right. training camp, and it was like, you better figure it all out right now. Yeah. And we really figured it out quick. Yeah. Think about it. They had, what, Yogi's Three, been in the league? Four years. If you think about it, you, four years, we got it done in four months. <laughs> got what done? <laughs> I, I, what? What? Did I miss the Minnesota Timberwolves championship, Rob? And then did, did that just, I, did I, did I miss that one? What? You got to the playoffs. For those that don't know, it's all over the place. So you might know. Patrick Beverly is saying, or did say, that the Timberwolves run last year to the first round of the playoffs where they were beaten in six games by the Minnesota Timberwolves was more impressive than the Denver Nuggets winning the championship this year. That's what he said. Rob, what's going on? Well, let, let me tell you what's going on, Chris, and enough is enough of the new media <laughs> and these darn uh, – Athletes who now all of a sudden think they're broadcasters or whatever. You know what they're doing, Chris? This is a damn hobby. You guys, the sports fans, turn these guys off. Stop listening to this nonsense. Because that's all it is. It's just friends in a room. If you want to hear friends talk to each other, Chris, pick up the damn phone and call your buddy. That's all this is. Do you want a professional who's going to give you some insight, give you some information, or do you want guys to to rub each other's back for the next hour, Chris? Because <laughs> that's what this is. How what I, lunacy? There's nobody in the room. I wish a dog would have jumped think up Carl on the Anthony table. And Towns was thinking, huh? "What the? What I mean, is Rodney, this?" I, did, did Carl Anthony? I know he didn't push back. I think ultimately he was like, "Yeah, yeah, come on." Chris, is he? Come on, we can't. 
I can't do this anymore. I get it. They're bored. They have nothing to do. And they bought uh, microphones and they have headphones. <laughs> and they were in their basement because they got so much space down there with nothing else in there. But stop. Step away from the microphone, you players. Stop I- polluting the airways. Stop I- it. Stop doing this to people. Nobody wants to hear your jibber jabber. Nobody wants to hear you guys massage each other and tell each other how great you are. Can I turn a podcast off? Is there an off button to this? Stop it already. My skin crawls every time I hear a former player step to a microphone and interview another player as if they're breaking down something or telling me something I don't know. It is the most Captain Obvious shows they never push back can you push somebody down there was probably a dog in the room that wanted to jump up chris and bite the microphone to try to malfunction it (laughs) so you heard their comments now even the funniest thing is even gilbert arenas who's a former player he even he when he heard these comments because i saw the video of him talking about he was like oh my god what the hell are these guys talking about and he was like man this what happens when you're a player and you're arrogant he's like was i this arrogant like, was I this delusional too? Um, so I think what those guys, I think what they said was pretty, pretty wild. I mean, because to say that this team, what they did, what you guys did by coming together, you know, to win a playing game or whatever it was, is more impressive than winning the championship to me, I think is outlandish on his face, right? I mean, it's it's, whew, uh, it's cuckoo talk, right? And you kind of diminish, you kind of diminish the importance of an NBA championship and how hard it is. Right, I think in an NBA tournament every season now to 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 win a playing game, there are two teams every year doing it. <laughs> but how many teams are winning the championship? It's only one, you know. So to say that is pretty pretty wacky. We all know how hard it is to win a championship. So for them to say that, especially with the teams that you know the Denver Nuggets were beating and in the fashion that they were beating them, beating the Heat in five, beating the Lakers in four. I think they beat the Suns in six or something like that. It was very, very impressive. And if you look at the names that they went through on their way to make it to the championship round, it's, I mean, for you to say that, it just, it's pretty, pretty wacky. It's a pretty, pretty wacky take, uh, if I'm being honest with you. But I also kind of understand what Carl Anthony Towns was talking about because he's also talking about the importance of a team gelling and building chemistry. And that usually takes years. So I understand that aspect of it. And that is true. And I think he could have said that um, on its own without comparing themselves to the team that just won the NBA championship. I think that was a bad parallel to try to draw. Um, And I think that's the reason why a lot of people were pushing back on him, pushing back on them for saying that statement. I I just don't think that that's something you should be saying, especially about the team that just won the NBA championship. I don't think that was a good look. Uh, it wasn't a good look to say that. So these are my thoughts and opinions. The question to you guys is, what do you think about this take? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And we'll definitely catch you guys on the next show. Peace.